This is the best advice you'll receive about uh, weight loss and working out and how they go together. Okay, they don't. They don't go together. I taught fitness for years. I've been an intuitive eater and teaching intuitive eating for decades now. And I'm telling you, the whole point of, of working out is to feel good, get the heart pumping, make sure your muscles are strong enough. And it's not to lose weight. Because if you try to lose, use cardio, particularly, which is particularly women try to do, I'll go on the Stairmaster for an hour, or the elliptical or whatever, I'll run the stadium stairs. Okay, all that stuff, guess what happens to your body when you do that? It gets really hungry. And also your body does not know why you're doing that. So your body is, is trying to keep you alive and safe. And again, doesn't know if you're running from a tiger or whatever the heck, why you're doing all this exercise all the time. So, so the alarm bells go off within your body to conserve and to make you hungry so you don't lose weight. All these things that, it sounds so stupid, but I, you know, I don't care what anyone else sees. I have seen this in my life over and over and over again after teaching classes for years. And again, me and myself, I've seen this so many times. I feel like I can speak with authority on this. If you are trying to trim down a little bit because you want to, no one's bullying you into it, but you just feel like, you know, I, I feel better when I'm whatever, it's whatever size. And my, my heartfelt advice to you is to moderate working out, not punishing yourself, not using working out so that you can eat more. No, 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 no. They are separate things. Eating and exercise are separate things, right? Just like like, um, like you don't change your sleeping patterns, you know, necessarily to lose weight. Although sleep is really important and under talked about. But anyway, so when you're, when you're in that mode of, I'm going to work out now and I'm going to lose some weight, gentle on yourself. No, say I'm going to gently try to push away from the table when hunger is gone. That's the best exercise of all. And I'm going to work out. I'm not going to punish myself. I'm not going to work out until I'm depleted. I'm going to work out still wanting more. A really good technique is when you're working out and you're like, yeah, I feel pretty good. I could maybe, I could maybe, you know, get a few more reps or I could maybe, you know, last a little longer. No, no. If you've been on a reasonable amount of time or you've done, you can have gotten some sweat going and you feel good. Then the benefit of always leaving yourself wanting a little bit more is that when you go to work out again, that's in your head. It's not, oh my God, I was so exhausted after that. These are common sense um, applications of, of kind of self-care that no one talks about because there, I think that it must be that there's just way much more money to be made in giving you an exercise program and getting you to a gym. And you know, you can, you can work out at home doing things. You can work out gently and get great results and, uh, and, and not make your body go on that high alarm of, Oh God, what's she doing now? Give her some hunger. So she keeps eating. I'm telling you, this is, this is reasonable deductions I am making from a lifetime of being in this in this mind mindset and and helping others and again being in fitness for years um, as my side gig I gotta say but uh, yeah be be careful of all the people out on the internet telling you that you need to do um, ice baths and and a certain amount of exercise and again that bro mentality maybe it works for bros more I don't know but ladies out there mm -mm, don't do that to yourself calm gentle nurturing. Imagine eating with hunger, exercise because you feel good, not because you're depleted, and life gets better. It really does.